Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the Bamboo Lab P2S. Um, it's a printer that I bought about five weeks ago. If you are in the market or if you are looking for your uh, 3D printer, then um, this information may be useful to you. I have made a few videos already regarding my journey with the P2S and so far it has been a very positive one. This video is not all about negative, but I'm all in favor of showing you not just the beautiful side of 3D printing, but also the ugly parts of uh, 3D printing. So here is my P2S setup and um, it has been like this for the last few weeks because I still need my workbench for assembly and you know doing my other stuff. It has been sitting on this slab with a bit of a uh, dampened vibration and it's still not enough. So at the end what I do was I have some like a rubberized uh, packer which is stuck on the side here to stop it from too violently shaking. The AMS is fantastic for being lazy. I never really use color change because I think that it's just too wasteful. So just handy that, you know, when you run out of filament, you can use another spool next to it and also keep the things dry. I have drying agent in between the slot and the AMS working fantastic well. A lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't use uh, carbon fiber um, filaments in there. It's going to worn out the parts. Yes, it's going to worn out the parts, but I'm not really a big user on uh, carbon fiber. So um, one or two spools is not going to make that much difference. And besides, I'm going to do my own repair. So if the tubes get worn out or parts get worn out, they can be replaced. So, uh, but if you are newbie and new to uh, 3D printing, then yeah, maybe not a good idea to start like, you know, printing carbon fiber all the time. I said last video will be my last video on the bamboo P2S, but uh, because a lot of people ask the same question, I said, you haven't printed any high temperature filament like ABS, so yeah, uh, why not? So um, here is my print for my um, new uh, 3D printer. I'm gonna display that to you guys later on. So these are parts for my new 3D printer. And this is ABS carbon fiber from Yisun. And um, this kind of uh, print has given me a lot of headache. And I'm gonna go through them one by one. Um, this is a actually like an 18 hours print, which is ridiculous because I'm actually using a 0.6 nozzle. But you might think, why, why are you using a, a 0.6 and still take too long? Um, I'm going to come to that in a moment. So this is the Bamboo Lab um, original. Um, this is the uh, smooth plate. So uh, let's take it out and um, show you guys. Now part of the reason why people choose the P2S is because it's an enclosed um, 3D printer. What it means is it keeps draft out and you can print like high temperature filaments like ABS, but it's not without this problem because it's not a heat chamber. So I actually have to uh, set the temperature of the build plate to let's say 100 or 110 and leave it there for 20 minutes before I start to print or else I get a bad adhesion. And you can see that I've got loads of failed parts here. Um, there are some kind of low level failed parts which I didn't show you guys, I'm probably chucking the bin already. Uh, these big chunks I just want to show you guys before I chuck in the bin because I think that it's just um, quite wasteful. So this is the dark purple uh, filament and this is the ABSCF from, from Eason. When the wheel come, when I try to put it in the AMS it doesn't fit because although physically the wheel drum fits in the AMS, it was so full until the grey plastic uh, thing just keep scratching the filament. So I actually have to take out about 200 grams worth of filament before it will fit in the AMS. I can print an extender to make the wheels a bit bigger, but it's gonna be so close to the actually cover that it will scratch the cover anyway. So that's the only way I can get it to work. So that is already causing me some headache. And then I got the Cryo Grip Pro Glacier plate for ABS or high temperature use, and um, I couldn't make it stick. For small objects, yes, it will print fine, but when it start to getting like a tower, um, the bed, it just does not have enough sticking power. So the drag on the nozzle actually move it, even that little slightly rocking movement is enough to get it off the bed. And um, I didn't just go out to buy this because uh, I like the blue color. I bought it because I got the cryo grip for PLA and PETG, and it has given me so great results that I'm going to I thought I would buy one for uh, the ABS, but um, what a disaster that was. It might not be the ABS problem, maybe it's because of the carbon fiber uh, additive. I'm not an expert and this is not a tutorial, this is just me ranting or giving you some information that you might need to come across. With the ABS carbon fiber, it is really, really tough. Even tougher than the PGT 
carbon fiber that I use to make my props and stuff like that. But it is so difficult to use. So this is kind of after hours of hard work and all my knowledge with uh, 3D printing over the years. From the plate temperature to the filament uh, temperature to the thickness of the line, like how much comes out on the first layer, everything has been fine-tuned and uh, from error, try and error to this point. If I stick to the Bamboo Lab um, setting or the generic setting for ABS uh, carbon fiber, it will not print properly. And um, the result is kind of, I'm quite proud of, prints that is really usable. Some of these are printed with support and the reason why the brim is so hard to get out is because there is zero gap between the brim and the uh, print object. Any kind of a spacing between the brim and the object will make it kind of um, fall off the bed. But it will print perfect once you sorted out the setting. I even ran out of filament. It happens sometimes. So AMS filament ran out. So basically my filament ran out in the middle of a print and this is a middle of a big print as well. So now I'm going to um, rewind this one onto the roll. Don't mind the mess, this is kind of a work in progress. So I rewinded some of the filament back onto the wheel by hand, not ideal should use a uh, respooner but so now it's heating up the nozzle and it should um, pull in the filament and start the process again finger crossed what a way to test out the ams because whatever i wound up in the spool is not enough so it paused again so close but yet so far so uh you can see my tape is still in there uh, i'm going to wind a bit more into it. I don't dare to wind too much because I don't have a proper uh, spool winding thing so I don't want it to get tangled and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, let's see how this time go. So heating up the filaments again. Um, this is going to be another 2 hours 19 minutes of print. Hopefully I have enough filaments to finish. If not then I have to do this one more time. I have to uh, re-spoon with the 200 gram of filaments that I cut out at the beginning. So to answer the question, um, can it print ABS? Yes, it can. Can it, can it print ABS carbon fiber material? Yes, it can. And the parts are damn hard. It's like, I don't, I don't see the needs for using that every day. Um, Given the choice, I am going to use like PEGT and um, PLA definitely over ABS. It uses a lot more energy because it's in high temperature and the failure rate is a lot higher because maybe I'm a newbie. Uh, um, I try acetone, dissolve some of the ABS in it to make a, a liquid to paint on the uh, cryo grip. It didn't work. I sand off a bit of the cryo grip. It didn't work. Glue stick. It didn't work. Hairspray. Sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. So at the end, uh, the Bamboo Smooth PEI plate with hairspray is how I managed to get it done. So don't worry, I will put in the screenshots um, all the setting that I have done. If you are like researching or if you are at the wit's end of trying to make it work, then um, use my setting as the starting point. But bear in mind that my nozzle is 0 0.6, your, your might be 0 0.4 because I like to print big. The filament itself, the ABS carbon fiber is, is fantastic. So even at the uh, 0 0.6 nozzle, the lines are really, really fine. It's almost like, you know, you can't really tell. And by the way, the nozzle that I use, the 0 0.6 is a high flow um, aftermarket AliExpress one is another test that I'm doing with the machine to make sure that, you know, a cheap like four or five pound nozzle can do the same thing. I don't know if the bed adhesion has anything to do with the cheap nozzle. I hope not, or else I wasted a damn lot of time. So there's a bit of a close up. So this is the ABS carbon fiber printed by the P2S. And you can see the layer change. So, you know, I ran out of filament right there. So the top part is slightly different when they catch the light. And then I ran out of filament there as well. Apart from that, this is this is really hard. So you know you can't even break off the tab there if you try. ABS carbon fiber, PEGT carbon fiber. 
normal PLA, so this is definitely not something that I would hit against the desk because it would just shatter. And to the other extreme, this is what I'm going to use the printer for, uh, my sister a miniature business. So this is 0.2 nozzle, you hardly see any lines. Obviously this is by two parts joined together, so there is a line between the cushion and the seat. Now to print some money. So this one here, 0.2mm uh, nozzle, and this is standard um, stainless steel bamboo lap nozzle. And yeah, so love this cryo plate or plyo grip plate when printing PLA, this is fantastic. So this is a long print time because I'm using the finest detail and uh, yeah, looks pretty okay to me. And this is like a cheap uh, Sunyu filament, the cheapest I can find, which is like a wood colour. The plate has been, uh, it's still a bit warm, but it's kind of cool enough to have it slide off the plate. So the P2S has been printing non-stop so far for the next few days, so if you can uh, have a look at this. Obviously I can print more onto one plate, but at the, at the, at the moment this is still kind of a prototype. Um, yeah, I'm loving this cryo grip. A bit more than um, the bamboo lap one for some reason I just find this like much easier to to work with and um, yeah so these are 0.2 nozzle with some cheap PLA the cheapest I can find nothing special the black one is actually matte and you can see the cushion here because it's a very gentle curve at 0.2 there will still be layer line some users say that you can do ironing on the surface to be honest with you i have no clue i'm not an expert in that maybe my sister can figure that out in the future after spending 800 pounds on the machine doesn't mean that you don't spend any more money on necessary so i got my trusty uh, ultrasonic knife here this is expensive and to be honest with you it's something that you might not need um, if your print quality is good you shouldn't need to use this knife for um, after processing. Then I have this kind of hydrometer, they have solar panel built in so you never run out of battery. This is something that I think is a treasure uh, from AliExpress because they are not much more expensive than the battery version. Now you can print your own scraper um, like I did, but why waste money when you can buy them off um, AliExpress and um, Amazon? They even come with like uh, exchangeable plastic blades and it comes in a pack of three. I will try and put the link in the description so you guys can see what um, that I spent on. A um, air monitor, um, you don't really need this because you can smell the plastic, but it's a good visual reminder for you to open the windows. Vacuum bags for keeping the um, filaments inside and of course the um, silica gel that in each of these packs to make sure that keep the humidity um, dry. So finally, I can pack up all the 3D printing stuff by the bamboo lab because the machine is now going to my sister and what am I replacing it with so people will ask so you know this is not a sponsored video so no one sent me the printer I actually bought it with my own money and uh, Black Friday sales I got my uh, Flash Forge this is the multi-color version but I'm a bit worried now because when it's delivered when I pick it up it was like kind of on the sideway and it makes a lot of noise Now I'm sure when Bamboo Lab was de uh, delivered, it wasn't making any of that kind of noise. So um, I'm really hoping that this machine will work because I believe this might be the cheapest 3D printer. No, 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 let me, let me rephrase that. This might be the cheapest multi-color 3D printer that you can buy at the moment. And this is year 2025. So if you find my information useful, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. And I can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadgets. Bye bye. Who's his beacon of light in a world so fierce? He's carving his place with passion and heart. He's setting the pace. Benson's on a mission, rising to the top.